yeah so the first part is the data science so the first thing i wanted to uh, uh, actually communicate was that data science is actually interdisciplinary in nature so if you see here it is so while people talk about data science if you actually see carefully it actually is a combination of three broad areas okay so first one is the domain expertise okay or the domain or the business knowledge so domain would actually mean let's say let's say i come from a banking background so you know so banking is a domain or it could be healthcare or it could be automobiles it could be any of these industries so there is a need to understand a particular domain understand the business knowledge in detail to work as part of a data science or to be part of a data science uh, let's say solution providing okay the second aspect is computer science okay where uh, you need to understand about data you need to understand about uh, programming okay you need to be able to process the data so that entire element of computer science comes into play here okay and the third part is uh, uh, mathematics okay so since we are talking about data science it's not just about programming we need to understand a bit of mathematics and statistics especially okay because most of these machine learning algorithms are based on uh, statistical or mathematical principles right so actually if you see data science uh, is basically where we are solving business problems but we are actually using a combination of uh, all these three areas domain mathematics and computer science okay so uh, to give you a very small uh, example of this uh, let's assume that uh, let's assume that we are working in a bank okay and uh, uh, we have a situation so okay so we are let's say responsible for the loans department okay where we are actually uh, giving sanctions or you know uh, uh, pass, giving loans out to different customers right so now uh, let's assume that because of this current uh, uh, coronavirus situation we want to actually work out or predict the probability of default okay so we want to figure out that uh, whenever we are going giving loan to a new customer what is the probability that he is going to repay what is the probability that he might not uh, do that or you know he may default and things like that okay so now this is typically a problem so this is a problem statement for us i want to figure out the probability of default for a uh, the, the loans portfolio that i have in the bank okay now if you see if i have to solve this problem or you know give an answer to this question uh, as a data scientist for example uh, i need to actually understand Uh, this entire thing from three perspectives so when we now talk about domain here i need to actually understand the loans business so i need to understand in a bank how the loans work what are the kind of parameters on which loans are given by bank okay what are the parameters that will help me to figure out the probability of uh, default you know what is it what are the things i need to look for in a customer for example i need to look at his credit history and there may be so many other parameters so so for me to figure this out i need to understand this business the loans business well okay the second part is once i have understood that okay there is going to be a lot of data so once i say that i want to get all this information about customers okay that is essentially in the form of lot of data that's coming to me now i need to be able to now process that data okay so when i say process data it's it, it could be as simple as you know organizing organizing this data on a spreadsheet or you know the concepts of how we can actually organize the data on a spreadsheet uh, typically uh, if i were to uh, extrapolate that it even goes to things like uh, 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 RDBMS, you know, data management, data uh, uh, re relational database management systems, and things like that. In terms of how we organize the data, how we can actually write some programs to, you know, pull out the information, etc. Okay, so that is this part in terms of the uh, data processing. Okay, there's some echo that's happening. Is somebody put on the mic or something? Okay. and the uh, the last part is the mathematics you know statistics part you know for us to write a prediction or to work out a prediction of these probability we need to actually use some statistical tools okay which will be a fresh statistical tool that we are writing using machine learning algorithm or an existing one that's available so actually if you see uh, with this example we can actually see that you know all these three areas kind of come together for us to solve a, a typical data science problem okay now uh it is not to say that uh, a single person may need to have all of these three uh, uh you know skill sets or you know knowledge etc so one way is that we try to pick up uh, an understanding decent understanding of all these three areas okay another way is that normally data science uh, it works more like a team work so there it's actually a team where let's say there are some people who are domain experts you know some people who are very good programmers some people who come from a stats background so they come together as a team and then they are trying to find solutions for these kind of business problems so it could be working in either ways but 
it's important for us to appreciate that you know uh, it, data science does require all these three uh, areas to kind of come together or you know uh, domains to come together okay i have also put up this small uh, uh, slide here i mean if you see the content here is pretty much the same in terms of the components of data science the only extra is visualization here okay which is uh, uh, essentially that whatever outputs that we are generating you know by solving these problems okay uh, we, it's important for us to present them nicely okay so there are many data visualization tools that are available okay through which we can do charts and graphs i mean we can actually do it in excel as well okay but there are even other uh, tools that are available through which we can do this so this becomes the kind of the last component in a entire data science suite in terms of uh, solving a particular problem 